Yah, praise Yah, Passover day, day, the daylight hours. We began observing last night, just as Yahusha and his disciples did at sundown, beginning the calendar 14th day. Now we're into the daylight hours of the Passover day of the 14th. And at sundown, we'll be going into the slaying, well, slaying of the lamb before sundown, but we'll be going into the high Sabbath. <clears throat> Shalom, Wendy. And I wish I could just preach this better with more assurance, assurance, because, you know, I want to make this point as we're preparing to be unleavened we're preparing to get rid of the last leaven maybe throw it in your trash can and wheel the trash can out to the road or something it's maybe what you want to do any food items that have yeast or leaven in them maybe want to do that but i wish i could drive this point home better more confidently and i'm going to do it right now how important these things are and these events are i'm going to really really confront everyone who's listening how critical and important this is because there you know there's so much Hasatan opposition there's so much leaven that you have to deal with spiritual leaven in your lives it makes it so much harder and that's what Satan means Satan means opposition and there's just so much of it and trying to can get you to do every little detail right or else you're, you're you blew it all if you didn't do every detail right and there's a lot of that going on but you know it shouldn't be that way that's just Hasatan he wants to attack you in this time why why does he want to attack us and try to just make us throw up our hands and just not want to do this we're not supposed to let's just go back to the new covenant and do communion every once a month back in the church <laughs> let's not do this old law stuff right you know you kind of you the, the Hasatan attacking us but i really want to shalom andrea encourage everyone this is so important and we remembered this last night this important detail in matthew 26 28 for this is my blood of the renewed new renewed covenant which is shed for many for the remission of sins but i say unto you i will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until the day when i drink it anew with you in my father's kingdom the kingdom participating in these things albeit exactly specifically right or wrong we are preaching the gospel of the kingdom. That's why there's a spiritual Hasatan attack. We are preaching the gospel of the kingdom. We are preaching the gospel of Messiah by what we are doing. I mean, I'm just so excited. Yah brought me to this nice property with this family that's on the same calendar as me and, and that I got here. And we're going to do the Passover tonight, the lamb. Okay. This is this is just huge. I'm just so excited because we're learning how to preach the real gospel of the kingdom, the scriptural, biblical gospel of Yahusha, Jesus. We're doing it the true way. We're not preaching a blended gospel. We're preaching the gospel as we're participating in these things. We're walking it out. This is the gospel. We're showing what it means to the world. We, we, I hope we can focus on that, the importance of that. But you have to have that sharpening. This just shows, when we do this, this just shows that it's not finished. We have to keep throwing out sin and spiritual leaven out of our lives every year because it's not done. This stuff isn't done away with. That's what this shows as we throw out leaven today. We, we get the leaven out of our lives. 
and it's such a painful process. That's why people don't want to do it. But some of Messiah's last words in Matthew 24 about the end and the end times, the end of the age, the end of the world, which I believe that we're in, the end of the age, because we're coming to that Aquarius age. Pisces is when they entered Pisces, they spent an age of doing this, Yahushua's disciples. And here we are now. The equinox is going to be in a different, different age. We're coming to the end of it. How important is this to preach this gospel? Because in Matthew 24, some of Messiah's last words before he went to the crucifixion, very possibly, probably two days before, he said, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached unto all nations, and then will the end come. <sighs> We're preaching the gospel of the kingdom by doing this, by participating in this. We're not preaching a blended gospel where we, we blend in with the world. We, we blend Messiah to pagan things. That's not the gospel of the kingdom. The gospel of the kingdom is keeping these feast days. This is critical. Of course we have Hasatan opposition. So tonight we'll be doing that. And there won't be a live scripture reading. Had to also say that tonight because we'll, we'll be doing the Passover lamb. I'm not going to be, I'm going to be eating the Passover meal with everyone, with the family here with my son, um, with, with everyone, and I won't, but I'll go live, probably what I'm going to probably do is read Exodus 12 and 13, I think, tonight, at the normal time, when I usually go live for the scripture reading, I warned everyone I would fall behind a little bit on the normal schedule, because of, we got to stop what we're doing, we got to preach the gospel of the kingdom with what with our our example our actions we we need this to be seen and i just wish it was more stable and more assurance and more conviction and more confidence that we're we're doing it correctly but that that's when we're learning so uh throwing out leaven you know spiritual leaven uh it's just the hardest thing because you got, you know, I got to throw some out, uh, you know, spiritual leaven, Mr. Logo, which Exodus section? Uh, yes, nine Eastern, but it's eight here, I guess. I think this is central time, but you know, did a little sin, did a little always dabbling. That's the hardest thing is for me to, uh, but I'm fake. If, if I'm not real, if I don't tell the truth that I, I, the new year I bought some, wanted to celebrate the new year, and now I got to throw it out. And that's the worst thing when you, you touch something that's, that's not good. It's so hard to throw it out, but I'm going to be throwing this out tonight because really the guilt of it, it just doesn't sit well. It just, I can't do it in front of people. So it must, this must be something wrong. So there's some leaven right into there. See, it's better for me to be real. It's better for me to put that on display because I'd rather do that out in the open and realize, man, we got to throw out leaven. We got to do it, you know? Spiritual leaven. So... 
I'm, I'm kind of hoping out because I've been doing that at the feast and y'all has been so merciful and gracious to not allow me to go back to that hardcore and just, you know, and, you know, I, I just slip up and struggle with things, but it's just better for me to put that on display and written, but that's, this is the gospel of the kingdom. We still have to do this every year. We still have to. We still have to get rid of leaven out of our lives every year. That's what Paul was saying. The unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. No matter how hard it is. And embarrassing. And, you know, it's easy to be fake behind a screen. You can hide a lot, you know. And even got drunk the other night. It, and, and there's just so much guilt. And it's been a really painful spiritual process. Then, then you got a vicious spirit of contention. And we might do it lovingly. We might think, you know, no hate, but you're wrong. Or this or that. Or people uh, picking out flaws. And and they do it. They try to think they're doing it in love and everything. But you can sense the vicious spirit. It's, it's a vicious spirit because you... You feel it battling within you. And and that's just some of the Hasatan opposition and trying to accuse us. Accuse us before the Most High, you know. And when you go through that, and that's just because you feel that accusation. And you have to, you have to cl clean, be, get cleansed before Yah. So hopefully we all got our mikvah. We got all clean. We got our feet washed, maybe, as we go to do the Passover lamb tonight. Um, you know, I even slipped up with a woman this year a little bit, but I didn't consummate any one flesh stuff. I don't, don't think the wrong thing, but just an inappropriate thing. Even did that this year. You know, and I just ask everyone's forgiveness. I keep saying, Yah, you're going to be done with me. You're going to be done with me. But no, because we're doing the gospel of the kingdom when we do these things. And, and we're going to be so refreshed and renewed and relieved. So I'll be back on and I will do exodus 12 and 13 to remember the torah instructions uh, i'll get my staff in hand and and it's and and i can't wait self-forgiveness is best thank you karen yes because and some people say well we forgive but we're not gonna forget or Fool me once, but I won't allow you to fool me twice. These types of things that, oh no. That's why blamelessness is so, it is a very critical thing. So, shalom warning. So, so I'll be back on tonight, the normal time, and we'll see everyone then. I'm really excited. Shalom. Praise Yah.